from Washington, D.C. Today at work, I am reading the news for the first time. I am really nervous, but my boss, Ms. Weaver, is here to help me. Now, Anna, remember, when we read the news, we are always reading facts. We never show our feelings. Sure thing, Ms. Weaver. Great. Are you ready? <sighs> yes. Okay. Let's try the first story. Hello, and welcome to the news. A new book is very popular with children and families. This is it. It is about a lost duckling. The duck's mother cannot find him. Stop. Anna, when you say the words duck and duckling, you look really sad. I do? Yes. Sad is a feeling. Sad is not a fact. Sorry. Let me try again. OK, she's trying again. And go. Hello, and welcome to the news. A new book is very popular with children and families. This is it. It is about a lost duckling. The duck's mother cannot find him. But a family gives him a home. Stop. Anna, you are doing it again. This story is very sad. I have an idea. Let's read the second story. She's reading the second story. And go. OK, let's try the first story. She's reading the second story. Hello, and welcome to the news. In Indiana, a grandmother is the first 80-year-old woman to win the race car 500. That is awesome. Stop. Stop. Anna, please. No feelings. Right. But it is awesome that an 80-year-old grandmother wins a car race. Just the facts, Anna. Right. Hello, and welcome to the news. In Indiana, a grandmother is the first 80-year-old woman to win the race car 500. She rarely talks to reporters, but when she does, she often says, nothing can stop me now. I am very happy for her. Stop, stop, stop. Anna. You cannot say you are happy. But I am happy. But you can't say it. Why? This is the news. Happy and sad are feelings. You can't have them in the news. <sighs> OK. I got it. <sighs> OK, let's try the third story. She's reading the third story. Let's try the third story. And welcome to the news. City politicians in Big Town are using city money to have a big party on a cruise ship. They are taking money for the party from the children's library. What? That makes me very angry. No, no, no. Anna, you cannot say you are angry. This is the news. What can I do, Ms. Weaver? Take out my feelings and put them here on the news desk? Yes! Yes! That's right! Now you've got it! Let's repeat the first story. This is going to be a very long day. Until next time. Hello and welcome to the news. 